You're listening to Where You Live with Gene and Tony. This is Where You Live with Gene and Tony. We're broadcasting from the Natural Green Lawn and Landscape Studios. We're brought to you by Extreme Exteriors and American Family Insurance, the Kim Bennett Agency. As an American Family Insurance agent, Kim believes that there's much more to insurance than the policy itself. It's about providing you with dependable protection and services. Kim believes that trust and credibility can't be demanded. It can only be earned by what you say and what you do. Call Kim at the Kim Bennett Agency, 651-482-1598, and tell her Gene and Tony sent you. It's time for a message from the Minnesota Multi-Housing Association. The MHA Minute is brought to you by Start to Finish Maintenance Contractors. Start to Finish provides 24-hour service for all of your home and business maintenance needs. Call Start to Finish at 952-259-1219 for your home, for your business, for your peace of mind. Some of the benefits of successful property management. Are you ready? On-time payment of rent, improved resident quality, stabilized income, reduced turnover, controlled expenses, improved financial performance, less property wear and tear, allowance for property improvements, enhanced property value, being proactive, not reactive, better relationships with neighbors, fewer police calls, creating a community, being a great neighbor. These are some of the benefits of good property management. And whether you run a townhome association or you are renting out your condo, duplex, or a 100-plus unit building, Membership with the Minnesota Multi-Housing Association gives you the tools you need to run your business effectively while minimizing the headaches. Don't be a good landlord. Be a great one. Visit www.mmha.com. That's two M's, mmha.com. I want to remind our listeners that we have a hotline. If you're listening to our show and you have a question or a comment or an idea, Pick up the phone right now and call our hotline at 952-224-2668. Leave us a message and we will talk about it at our next broadcast. Yeah, and I'd be interested in hearing from any of our listeners. Uh, Give us a call this next week uh, or email us. Uh, You can find our email by going to our website at www.newconceptsgroup.com. We've got a pull-down section just for the radio show Mm -hmm. and uh, our contact information. We'd love to hear what you think. Do you agree with us? Do you think that uh, perhaps that uh, the attorneys here in the state of Virginia are probably overstepping (laughs) their bounds in what they're defining as the unauthorized practice of law? Or uh, do you think that Tony and I are wet behind the ears? I I don't think so because what we're talking about here— is uh, the difference of thousands of dollars. I, I know that That's right. in our contract that we have with all of our clients, mm-hmm. we have a set monthly amount. And they call us on and off at their will, at their discretion, do they not? That's right. Uh, throughout the month saying, oh, hey, how about this? Hey, can you take care of this? What do you think of that? And they're pa- they expect us to share our experience and give them advice on issues. And that is good value. Every time you, right. you pick up a, to an, uh, a phone to an attorney, and I think attorneys are valuable. Absolutely. And I, and I appreciate them very much. But the, uh, the timer is on the moment you start going on the phone <laughs> with them. That's how they make their money. And, and so it's right. all about the billable hours. That's right. And, and so with an attorney you are dealing with uh, someone per hour. If people had to pay property managers that, the cost for property hey, management I'd be would, be, retired by now. would be a lot more expensive. <laughs> well, the, the thing of it is, is that the that's the wonderful thing about the free market. The market bears what it can. That's and, right. and because there is a lot of value, value with an attorney, and again, I'll be the first to acknowledge that, they are at a different rate than we are here in property of management. Course. But you can't begrudge the client if you're really thinking of the best interests of the client in letting us perform the things that really are uh, administ- uh, and uh, administrative I, in nature. It, it, it made me think of this. A client calls me and says, you know what? I'm sick and tired of this guy over here at house 123 not paying his assessment. I want you to call the trash hauler and have them issue him a red trash cart. 
Anyone who's delinquent, I want them to have a red trash card. So that I've had, I've actually yeah. had boards ask me this <laughs> and tell me this because I want it apparent to everyone in the community that they are delinquent on their dues. So instead of the scarlet letter, we have the we have scarlet, red, the scarlet trash, trash card. Can. <laughs> so I'm supposed to tell that person, you ought to call your attorney and get an opinion on that. Yeah. Instead of saying, I have to tell you, in my experience, that's a bad idea because now you're displaying to the public a private and confidential matter with that owner. Yeah. That's the kind of things we're talking about. When you get right down to it, okay, that might that's a legal question. I'm supposed to tell my my board to call the attorney and pay him two hundred dollars yeah. an hour for that? I mean, part of what people appreciate about property management is we don't uh, send in the person that you have to pay seventy five, eighty five dollars an hour for when the work that needs to be done <laughs> is only fifteen to twenty. Am Mary, I right? That's absolutely right. That's that, why you hire us. Is to help you save money. Yes, you don't pay. Uh, yeah. You know, some of the most expensive people, plumbers. Yeah. Yet you're going to be talking yeah. about over a hundred an hour. Yeah. And uh, but much needed when, that's when, right. when something when you, goes wrong. That's right. But you don't pay $105 an hour for someone who's going to rake the yard. That's right. And and so, but here we have attorneys that are getting so protective of what they consider their turf that I think they're, they're redefining things. And I think they're just showing their greed. I agree. I agree. Um, I think it's uh, interesting. Let's talk about what some of those areas are that really don't need an attorney, okay? Okay. Um, but according to this opinion, uh, they're uh, saying they, they feel do. it does. Yeah. One is leases. Yeah, that really scares me. They're saying that a lease between drawing a landlord- up leases would be an unauthorized practice of law if I were not an attorney. That, since the beginning of time, has been done by people and by people who are not licensed when That's they right. work for the owner. That's right. And the owner himself, a landlord doesn't have to be licensed yeah. right now. But but a landlord gets to operate his own business. Yeah. Right? I, I that scares me. A if they're gonna include leases in yeah. this. A bill of sale. We're talking about okay, so someone What? Yeah, so here we have a case where the landlord says, you know what? We're gonna get a new rider lawnmower for the property. And let's uh, put this one on Craigslist. And so you put the used one on Craigslist for 800 bucks. Someone says, hey, I like that. They come by. They say, I'll give you cash. Will you give me a bill of sale? Holy Certainly. Cow. No, no. According to Virginia attorneys, they would say, no, no. We have to draw this up by with attorneys. And so you prolong the bill of sale. You talk about mucking things up. A bill of sale? Come on. Yeah, that's crazy. Really? A power of attorney. Uh, again, we're talking about issues of small claims court where attorneys, you're not, you don't belong. Do you hear that? You don't belong. Giving someone a and power of says, attorney doesn't mean you're turning it over to an attorney. It means you're granting some other person, probably a lay person, the, the ability to represent you. And here's the other thing. We talk about the war on words here yeah. and, and re and defining the discussion, it's not power of attorney. There's another word in front of it. Limited power of attorney. A very important distinction. That is. Why? That because is. Because it is our, our being an attorney <laughs> or a representative is limited. That's and right. And it's limited on the scope of that piece of paper. That's right. And for many times, it's to be able to say, uh, yes, uh, we agree with uh, the owner that this person ought to be evicted. Or, yes, we will accept those uh, terms and yeah. they can make a payment plan. That's right. That's right. Again, we are not going outside of the direction of our client. There's Nor are we going outside of the area of our expertise. Yeah, it's a fiduciary relationship. Yeah, yeah. And that fiduciary relationship means we owe our client who leans on us for expertise and knowledge. We mm -hmm. also turn to them for direction. We yes. must uh, obey. Obedience is one of the primary keys of a fiduciary in that fiduciary relationship. That's right. That's right. Full accounting. 
uh, accountability of of matters. Those are issues. We owe that, that to our clients. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And so I, I think it is just astounding what attorneys are, are trying to do here. Uh, and what's interesting here, and last uh, thought here before we go here today, is that you know you talked about uh, that uh, sentence that said managers in Virginia are required to be licensed. That is in relationship to a special license to be an association property manager. You don't, it's not for real estate. Really? Okay? Yes, in Virginia. So the license they're talking about in this article is not yes. even a real estate license. It's about HOA manager or CIC. An manager. HO, a management to manage HOAs. Now, you don't need in Virginia a special uh, manager's license to manage uh, income property, uh, rental, rental property. property, commercial property. Okay. But HOAs, you do. Uh, it, it, it's a distinction that, uh, we could go on further, but <laughs> man, we've out, we talked out of time. ourselves right out of yeah. time. Folks, thanks for joining us. Uh, we hope that you join us next Saturday right here on where you live. Have a great weekend, everybody. I regret to announce this is the end. I'm going now. I bid you all a very fond farewell. I have been chosen. Farewell, my friend. I go on to a better place.